Fitness was one of those things that I just always wanted to learn everything about. I did a 20 week prep, really bad prep. You guys followed me during my That Prep Life series. I did lose a little bit of strength. I haven't been uber focused on strength training. That is why, long story short, that's why I wanted to start Project Me. Welcome back to another video. My name is Amanda if you don't know me and if you do welcome back This is officially my 12 week update video So if you started with me from the beginning of this project me series, I started to cut 12 weeks ago So to tell the story a little bit further We're gonna go back to the beginning of my fitness journey because it all kind of rolls together, right? So when I first got started in fitness in general, I was really into weight training. I was weight training since I was like 14, 15 years old. My mom got me a personal trainer. I loved it, but I never really had a really good grasp on nutrition. And when I got into college, I had a friend that did a bikini competition. And I was like, yep, that's what is gonna make me look so much better. And I was really excited to just change physically. And when I went through it and did see my body go through changes, I was so hooked and so excited to keep learning more. And I'm one of those really inquisitive, always learning people. I have my nursing degree, so I have a science background, and I've always been the type of person to like research articles and like look up the answers to things that I didn't know if I had a question about them. And fitness was one of those things that I just always wanted to learn everything about. I ended up doing a series of bikini competitions. I also did a powerlifting meet, and with that, I think the bikini competitions, when I got started, I loved them, right? So I did one show, and then I did another show, and I, I got a coach, and then I had like a full season of shows, and then I did a really strict reverse diet, which means that I cut for 18, 19 weeks or so for a series of two or three shows, I think it was. It was in 2016, 2015, I did that, either way. It was my first season with my coach, Will, and I did a really good job on my cut. It went pretty well. I did a really great job on a reverse diet, essentially, to stay really strict after my show and track my food and added calories slowly. I stayed really lean, and then I did the bodybuilding.com spokesmodel search and where I had to go on a cut again in the middle of the winter. Kind of messed me up a little bit. I actually had to go on a cut for eight weeks, and it was really difficult to, to diet down for that show in the middle of a what was supposed to be an off-season, a bulking season, um, which really is a season for you, or if you're cutting and then bulking or whatever, that was, that's like what I was doing because like bikini competitions, that's what you do. You diet really down, you diet down extremely and then you gain weight and then you do it again. But in the middle of like the season where I was supposed to be gaining weight and building my metabolism back up, it really was just another, another addition to dieting and that takes your body to a place where it starts to feel starved and it starts to feel like it wants to push back at, um, at you when you try to diet again. So did that, had two more months where I started a strength training cycle. I gained a little bit of weight back. I went from like 110 to 120 in the span of like two months. And then I started another cut from there. And that is where I did a 20 week prep, really bad prep. It was last year, last summer. If you guys followed me during my That Prep Life series, that was the prep that I did. It went really well, like I got really lean, I, I did, but it was the hardest I've ever had to diet in my whole entire life and I knew my body was just like messed up, done. I had been tracking my macros for three years at that point, almost. It was two and a half or three years at that point. And I was like, you know what? I need a break. I took a break at that point in time. It was also like kind of trendy on social media to not be tracking your macros and to take time off and to live life and everybody was, just like in this stage of like, you don't need to track, you need to intuitively eat. And I was like, that's what I want to do. And I went on a bunch of trips. I went to Vegas, I went to New York, I went to all these places and I utilized that mindset that I was like, I'm going to eat whatever and just live life and yada 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 and take a break. I just allowed myself to like eat a ton and it was great. I like got lots of foodie experiences and stuff. Don't regret it at all. That being said, I gained more weight than I ever have in my whole entire life. I was 113 on stage and my highest weight, which was where I was at the start of this Project Me series, was 139 and I had never in my whole entire life weighed anything more than 125. So huge, huge mental like change for me to go through. I personally think that in the beginning of it, the first like three to four months or so, it was not good. I was not in a good place mentally. I felt really discouraged. None of my clothes were fitting. It was the first time I've ever been that weight um, people on social media were definitely noticing 
all that kind of stuff and it was definitely getting to my head a little bit but the second half of it I feel like I, I mentally embraced the way that I looked I felt really good in my in my clothes I did feel like still a little bit meh because I wasn't really super on track um, I got back on track I tracked my food I stayed at like a, a, a small surplus for the next like four to five months. I tracked my food, I did a powerlifting meet, I absolutely loved it, I love strength training. I utilized that to my advantage in like the the gaining weight phase that I, that I had this last winter. And it was really great and I felt really, really good and I was able to kind of like come into this place of like accepting myself and loving myself for where I was, not where I wanted to get or where I had been in the past, which is really difficult for especially competitors to go through after like a series of dieting and always seeing yourself stage lean and lean in general. I was always looking back at like my old photos and all that stuff and mentally it was tough but I got through it and I feel like I kind of like accepted that that's where my body likes to be and of course I like over ate a ton and stuff like that very often and frequently and probably a little too frequently but I got back to it and that is why, long story short, that's why I wanted to start Project Me. And the whole premise behind it is that I wanted to start it for myself. No extreme dieting, no competition at the end, no getting super shredded. I really wanted to do it for myself. And my, what, what I mean by that is that I wanted to do it because I have a long-term goal in mind. Not that, it's, not that I just wanted to, to lean down a little bit because that was definitely a major part of it. I think that everybody has their tipping point where they feel like, kind of leveled out to a certain extent. Like after I gained some weight, I felt like I leveled out a little bit, but then I also felt like there was this like tipping point where my clothes weren't fitting and I felt puffy and like swollen and fatigued. For me, that was too much this way. And I wanted to kind of bring it back from like this place that I've been dieting, super dieted down, going to bikini competitions and being really strict to this like eating whatever, like, like I gained a lot of weight and I feel puffy and swollen. I wanted to come to this middle ground. And this 12 weeks, the last 12 weeks was the first portion of finding that middle ground for myself. So that being said, I wanted to start with the intention of cutting down, dieting down, leaning down a little bit to where I feel really comfortable in my skin. I feel like I've given this cut my all, but not too much as to where I feel like dead and zombie-like and like brain fog and all that stuff. And then from there, my goal is to, and like what I'm going to do after this cut ends, is to reverse diet, or I have a plan that I'm gonna tell you guys about. Um, it's a little different than actual reverse dieting. It's kind of that, but it's more like jumping up to maintenance calories and then adding as I go. My goal is to have a fast metabolism. Never had that in my whole life. Um, I definitely suppressed it when I've been dieting. I did have a nine month period of time where I was in a surplus which helped a ton, but that being said, your body takes a longer time than you think to get back to where it needs to be hormonally. I feel like I got back to that place, but I got back to that place in an uncomfortable body fat level for me. That being said, I wanna to get to that place and be in a comfortable body fat level for myself, which is really my goal. So fast metabolism, be really strong, and be in a physically comfortable place. That's like my goal. That is basically having everything, having your cake and eating it too. It can happen, it will happen to me. I'm setting up myself up for success by doing this. So that being said, let's get to the point. Here's a physique update. This is where I was two days ago I filmed this. My lowest weight so far in this was 133.4 or six, I forget which one, but essentially that's a six pound drop since the beginning. So that's about a half a pound a week. I would say that's really average for a female who doesn't have too much weight to lose. And I also lost three inches on my waist, which I think is really cool. That's probably like a bigger uh, kind of difference for me physically to, to measure and then, and then see the changes in that way. It's really cool. I don't usually measure throughout a cut. I usually do it at the start and the end. For the purposes of this video, I wanted to show you guys where I am now. I did lose a little bit of strength. I haven't been uber focused on strength training. I've been focused on like keeping up with it. But I've also, like I've told you guys in the past videos, I've like lost touch with training a little bit. Not too, too much. I still like go and I still do my cardio and I still, I still weight train, but I've been busy in terms of creating different businesses and like so much stuff has been going on. It's just been really awesome. So training has been kind of like, it hasn't been a back seat, but it hasn't been a front seat either. It's kind of been like a center console. <laughs> that makes sense. I feel really great. And I feel really like, I, I don't feel like diet um, feels at all. I don't feel brain fog. I don't really feel fatigue. I don't feel super, super hungry. 
and I think that's because I haven't pushed myself too much in this cut and I didn't want to necessarily because I wanted it to be like a, a casual cut which like I didn't know what that looked like because I've never cut without a bikini competition. I haven't been like weighing my food exactly. I have a ton of practice tracking my macros and I don't weigh every single thing but I track it all. Like I know that it, it's within my macronutrient range but it could be slightly off and there's human error and like eyeballing error and estimations and stuff so I've been keeping up with the tracking, not necessarily the weighing every single everything. And that's been really like mentally good for me. So I think with the physical changes and like the mental place that I've been at in this cut has been the best I've ever felt in a cut. And that's how it's like been working really, really well for me. I feel really happy. <laughs> I feel like this is like my perfect kind of happy medium with everything. And I'm really excited actually to tell you like what my next, my next steps are my body's not ready to be done and what I mean by that is that I feel like there's a point where I know that like my body's kind of done dieting I haven't pushed myself too too hard I just started implementing a little bit more cardio because I got a bike so I'm like biking to the gym and back now I'm going to take another four to five weeks or so of a cut maybe a little bit more we'll see but I'm going to Hawaii tomorrow <laughs> or I think this video is coming out today so I should be there by now and I'm gonna be on vacation for a week and it's my birthday and I'll be with Brian and what I'm gonna do is keep things kind of like normal like I'm not gonna overeat I'm not gonna undereat we're gonna be doing tons of activities and hiking and all that stuff and there's tons of like really great fresh food and fruit and fish in Hawaii and all that stuff and I'm really excited for vacation and I think what I'm gonna do is come back full force for the last few weeks of the summer and kick this cut into high gear a little bit more nothing too extreme but really just like actually challenging myself like really pushing myself in the rest of this cut and to see where I can get because I know I'm not gonna be in a caloric deficit for a really long time after this cut ends like really long, like really, really long time after this cut ends. Like I don't want to be in a caloric deficit again, really actually. My goal is to kind of maintain at this like really great physique and really great metabolism level and really great strength level and progress in that way as opposed to progress in a cut. I know it's kind of confusing, but we will go through phase two of Project Me very soon after this cut ends. I'm excited to share all that stuff with you guys and I feel really confident about my decision to move forward with this cut it's gonna end soon, but that being said, I feel like I still need to give it my all, like really my all. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Oh, sorry, one more thing, one more thing. I will do a body fat scan at the end of the cut. I wanted to do one for this, but I wasn't actually ending it here. So I was gonna do one for this video, but it's gonna end in a few more weeks. Thank you guys again so much for watching this video and all of your support on this series so far. I absolutely appreciate every single one of you. And I'll catch you in the next video.